What are people talking about on social media today? Hashtag MH370. Debris found off the coast of Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean is being examined to see if it is related to the 2014 disappearance of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. Hello, I'm David Erickson and this is the 406 and now here are the top statewide headlines at this hour. The wildfire that has burned 3,170 acres in Glacier National Park was likely human caused, the National Park Service said today. In a re written release, Glacier Park officials asked for the public's help in investigating who started the Reynolds Creek fire and how it was ignited. Initial evidence suggests that the Reynolds Creek fire was caused by human actions. Crews are working to restore power to Glendive after a severe thunderstorm with up to 120 mile an hour winds knocked out much of the city's power. Powerful straight line winds damaged buildings, tipped over grain bins, and flattened power lines Monday night. Wind speeds were measured at 90 miles per hour before the measurement instrument was blown off the roof of the airport and an airplane hangar was destroyed. Burlington Northern Santa Fe has a green light to speed through Mile City at up to 60 miles per hour and the town isn't happy. Caught between the busy switchyards of Glendive and Forsyth, Miles City is no stranger to trains, but the southeast Montana town, known for its cowboy and annual bucking horse sale, is mostly a pass-through for BNSF. The railroad's path bisects the town, with City Hall a couple blocks west of the tracks and Custer County High School a block to the east. There are 13 blocks of homes fronting the tracks on the east side. A Spokane resident has been arrested and charged in connection with the murder of Jake Colvin, a 25-year-old man from Valley, Washington, who was found dead in a sport utility vehicle parked outside of St. Patrick Hospital on Sunday afternoon. Leo Antonio Rodriguez drove the white Chevrolet Suburban from Spokane to Missoula with the body of Colvin on board. Colvin was shot to death, but the circumstances of his death remain under investigation. Grizzly football fans might need a moment to recognize Caleb Kidder on the field this fall. After all, he barely played in 2014 because of an arm injury. He'll be wearing a different number, too. Kidder, a defensive tackle from Helena, will be the next holder of the Montana Grizzlies' number 37 legacy football jersey. A redshirt junior, Kidder takes the most heralded number in Montana football from graduated defensive end Zach Wagenman. That's it for the 406. Subscribe to our The 406 video YouTube channel and tell us your thoughts about the show in a comment. Have a great evening.